You've been so much at the forefront of diversity and inclusion, both in front of and behind the camera. You know, Dawson's Creek had the first same-sex kiss between two men on network, network television. Dirty Sexy Money had the first recurring transgender character. Can you tell, talk to us a little bit about, about how you feel about that work, which is so important? I, I think that at the root of it for me was always so many of my opportunities came because of, of when I was starting to write stuff that was really true of my own experience, I got um, opportunities. And so I always realized that like, okay, that was always a place I went back to in terms of looking at other people's work. You know, from a very pragmatic point of view, the audience would be super grateful for it because it felt fresh. Uh, but from a humanistic, just as a human being point of view, it just was uh, someplace I felt very comfortable because I identified with, with that aspect of, of, of being a storyteller and feeling like other. I don't know why movies, so many big budget films, you know, haven't had more uh, LGBT, you know, Q characters in them. You know, I mean, on our TV, you know, our superhero shows, you know, it was such a vital part uh, of our telling these you know, stories that, that the characters look and feel like the people that they're saving um, and, and why more risks haven't been taken in the, I don't even call it a risk, but why more of those choices haven't been made on the big screen format, I don't know, you know, I mean, so, so I, I do think that there's a lot of work to do, but I'm really inspired by and, and confident in everyone here that are, are, that are coming up and are determined to, to tell those stories, because I think that's going to be the, what, what changes all that.